This is Randy Thompson coming to you live. We have Trudy Adams and Miss Annie. We're doing our warm-up trot now. And our focus is on keeping the connection. So first Trudy's just going to trot her around a little bit. Annie is her 10-year-old mare that Trudy has raised and pretty much trained herself. Alright, so here Trudy, you can feel this is where you should already be asking her to soften to the jaw. So we're using the steps to connection. So Trudy's checking, well Annie soften to her left rein, right rein, and at the same time Trudy's using her rein, she's using the leg on the same time. So if she's using, for example, here she might be using her right rein and she's using it when Annie's right hind leg is off the ground, which would be now, now. Now, now she's switching to the left, which would be now, now, now. Good. All right, so now you're going to really ask her to stay more connected with you. Ask for mini stretches. Good. I like how you've got her nice and active behind. Good, yeah, so she said that she tries not to ask too much in the face right from the beginning. I'm a little bit quicker about that because I just like to have the horses more connected sooner. But this is what most people will do. They'll ride their horse on a looser rein. Good, good. Now ask her to be more demanding on your outside rein. So she's always giving you, even if it's a long rein, she should be giving you mini stretches. So she's always softening to your rein connection, which of course is coming from Tootie's legs. Good, I like how you're praising her. Start adding big circles. Serpentine, start giving her a lot of different things to keep her focused. Good, watch, good, good, watch the outside rain. Keep asking for stretch. Whenever you feel her getting stuck a little bit, send her forward, more stretch. That's it. So this connection is still pretty new to Miss Annie. And so this is exactly what horses do when they're learning how to stay more connected. And what happened before is Annie was more of a, a green horse. You can see their history in the playlist area of the of this Randy Thompson Live YouTube channel. Just look up Trudy and Annie, and you can see their history over the last four years. Good, good. That's it. Get a stretch. Ask her to stay connected from your rank leg to your rank connection a little bit longer. She thought it was time to quit. So ask for it for like five steps instead of two steps. Go five steps, ask her for more connection, slow down the front end until the back end catches up. Learning a new camera here. There you go. So you're going to give her five steps connection, give her maybe three steps where you'll let her soften or, you know, stretch a little bit longer. So think five steps where you're going to slow down the outside range so she picks up her shoulder. Nice, Trudy. And then give her three steps of just a soft, of softer. It's not that you're being stronger. So five steps, you're going to ask her to step into your outside rein and with your outside leg. And three steps, just relaxing. Good. It's a form of a half halt. Look between her ears. Make sure you have the right bend for your corners. So in front of the saddle, to know if you're doing the right bend for lateral work or the circles, what we do is the rider can tell if they're on the right bend if, the, if they can look through the horse's shoulders as they're doing the circle or curve. Woo, it's a lot of work, isn't it? Good. Take your time. More active walk. She's going behind the vertical, so pick her up with your outside rein. Praise her. And again, there's nothing she's doing wrong. She's learning a different balance and a different response to things. So at first she might go behind the bit. Pick up her pole. Praise her. Yes, pick up her pole again. Slow down the front end until she picks up the pole and ask her to step into it. Praise her. So you're going to add half halts here to catch your breath. Half halt on the outside rein until she picks up her pole. There, feel her picking up her shoulder different. So keep her, have, keep her higher in her shoulder now. Shorten your outside rein for five steps. Get her to step into it until you feel her pick you up. Because you feel her picking you up behind the saddle a little bit. The feeling is when she's sitting down, it's almost you feel like she's behind the saddle. Can you feel that? Now add a curve and see if you can keep her behind the saddle by adding the feeling of a leg yield with your inside rein and leg. More activity. That's it, more activity. Praise her. 
Good. Keep her up on her shoulders. That's good, Trudy. More activity. I know. You can never get enough activity, right? More activity. There, there. Feel her starting to come through? That's the beginning of self-carriage and coming through. Do you feel it? That's all right. If she's leaning, what does that tell you? More activity. That's right. You have to get her more active. If she leans, that's you unconsciously holding the rein maybe a second maybe a second longer than you might need to at that second in time. That's how fast it goes. Good. Get her to step up. All right. She's getting bored. Let's go back to the trot a little bit. That's right. The same thing we're going to play with at the trot. And he says, what do you mean we have to do this at the trot? And he's saying, this is really hard. It is really hard when first horses first learn, first learn to stay connected like this. Again, Trudy's connecting her from her leg up into the rein. And that's the beginning of self-care. Yep, keep your elbows back. That's good, Trudy. Good. If she gets fussy like that, that's where you need to supple her more with your outside rein. Again, there's nothing you're doing wrong. This is all new to her. Think leg heel to get her against your outside rein and leg. Praise her. Look for the bend by looking in between her ears. That's how you can see the bend in front of the saddle. Good. That's it. That's where you need your outside rein. Get her to step up to the outside rein with your outside leg. Praise her. Good. She's going to hold it how long? A couple of steps. That's right. That's all you can expect at this time. So every time she holds it a couple steps, you have to praise her. It's a good thing. Good, good, good. And she's going to bobble her head and everything right now because this is still new to her. She really doesn't know what you want or why you want her to do this. So your goal is to teach her that it's a nice place to be. Because you find now she's starting to like, like it when you put her into a connection, isn't she? Until you get to the canter. But that's where she is right now. So that's, it's perfect. Because her canter is so much better than it used to be. Good. There she goes. That's it. Go across the diagonal. Now you're going to go between like a medium trot into a lengthening. Just seeing if you can keep her stretching through her neck and connected from behind. Good, good. Slow down your outside rein so she picks up her shoulder when you're doing it. So when you do your lengthening, she should still be sitting down where you feel her behind the saddle. Like, is she behind the saddle right now? Can you feel her behind the saddle? If you're not sure, start a 10 meter circle. Yep, do it. Nice. Feel her suspension. Good. Do it. Do like a 10 meter circle in the corner. Check your band. That's right. You can feel you're not quite connected. That's where you shorten your outside rein. So now whenever you feel her disconnect, you're going to do a 10 meter circle. Good. And it's going to happen like right here. You'll have to do it. Do a 10 meter circle just to feel. Is she really on your outside rein and leg? Push her against it with your outside leg or inside rein and leg, which would be now. Now, now, yep, you only need the leg as long as the step. Good, take your time. Keep. That's it, that's it. Slow down the front end so she keeps her shoulder up. Much better. Do you feel how you rebalanced her for that? 10 meter circle right there. So your goal is, is can you keep that same balance coming? Yeah, well that's 10 meter circle. Sets you up for it different, doesn't it? Supple her more on the outside rein. Praise her. Good, good. Just a couple more. Go across the short diagonal with a 10 meter circle at the end in the beginning. Yep. 10 meter circle at the end. Start suppling her. Good, Trudy. 10 meter circle down in that corner. Her haunches are coming in, so you've got to bring her shoulder over a lot more with the leg yield. Push her haunches out. Oh, push your haunches out. Good. Praise her. She should be picking up your outside seat bone. There you, there's, yes, you're starting to feel it. Good, Trudy. You're feeling when she's in front of your aids different. Very nice. Yep, do it again. Feel when she's in front of your aids. Connected, round on the bit. There you go. There's so many words for this term. Yep, feel when she's right, and then she can go forward. Now, as soon as she loses it, you just start another 10-meter circle. Tell me when. There you go. As soon as she gets it where you feel her under you again, then you go straight. You don't have to complete the circle. Yep, as soon as she's under you, you just go straight. And then when she loses it, and you can keep changing directions while you do this, you're just going to feel her. Put her back under your outside seat bone. 
Good. As soon as she's got it, you just go straight from wherever you are. Good. As soon as she loses it, just change direction. Put her in a half circle or whatever it takes to get her back underneath of her, and then you let her go straight. Good. Take your time. So soften her on the outside, rein and leg just a little bit more. Good, good. There, that's it. Good. Take a walk break. Yes, she did. She started to. Good. So tell me what you're feeling with this exercise. Oh, I'll fix oh, that. You're disconnected. That's oh, why. what are you feeling with this exercise? Um, more, more um connection. Have fun with Sandy. More good girl. momentum coming forward through the, her backside, I guess. That's her right. Quarters. What did you find the circles did for you? The circles feeling to push her underneath of your seat different. How did that work? It did. It helped. Yeah. Because it gives you more of the feeling of when she's pushing. She's now she's yep. starting to power like a motorboat almost, isn't she? Yep. What a good girl, Miss Annie. Okay, let's give her a walk break. And the candy. Again, this is Randy Thompson coming to you live. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel at randythompsonlive.com to see more of what's happened with Trudy and uh, Annie to get to this point of their training history.